The popular spin-off 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way has now aired three seasons of international romances, which has led to some failed unions and celebrated marriages. While the regular 90 Day Fiancé seasons often see more success when it comes to partners staying together, when compared to the franchise spin-off shows, numerous The Other Way couples are still together. They have happy marriages despite initial dating drama. Discover the most successful The Other Way couples and how they are doing today. Post-filming, The Other Way has only aired three seasons of content and was called out for only introducing two new couples to the third season of the show. To features Americans traveling to foreign countries to connect with their long-distance partners, and it has introduced one of the most beloved franchise couples. While the American cast members in the 90 Day Fiancé franchise have often been called out for being culturally insensitive, The Other Way is different. Since Americans appearing on To travel to other countries, they often show a deeper desire to understand the cultures of their partners. However, not all the other way couples have been respectful, or successful in romance. One of the most notorious couples to appear on the other way, Paul, and Karina Stale, recently announced their latest, but potentially permanent, separation. Meanwhile, married couple Evelyn B. Yegos and Corey Rathgeber are always keeping fans guessing about their relationship status due to their frequent conflicts. Additionally, Former cast members Yaz and Abu Harira, Ronald Smith, and Devin Clegg have all moved on from their on-screen partners to find love elsewhere. However, some The Other Way relationships are still very much intact. Kenneth Niedermeyer and Armando Rubio are easily considered the most successful The Other Way couple, as they are one of the most beloved couples in the entire 90 Day Fiancé franchise. The viewers were treated to Kenny and Armando's season 3 wedding, which saw even Armando's conservative Mexican family showing up to support his same-sex union. Kenny and Armando demonstrate real love that makes them adored by viewers. The married men are currently raising Armando's cute daughter Hannah though they discussed their desire to have a baby during the season 3 tell-all. Sadly, Kenny's beloved senior Chihuahua Truffles just passed away, though they do have a new dog named Mika whom they welcomed to the family a few months ago. Unlike many other franchise couples, Kenny and Armando never had major drama with each other. Jenny Sladen and Sumit Singh have had a far more problematic relationship with each other through the years, though they are currently doing well. Their online dating notoriously started out with Indian man Sumit catfishing older American Jenny as Michael Jones's for a year, while he also concealed his marriage status from her. Viewers witnessed non-stop arguments and drama from the duo during season 3, as Jenny pressed her partner of a decade to commit to her and Sumit did everything possible to avoid marriage. However, Jenny and Sumit surprised viewers by tying the knot and staying together. Many viewers were convinced that Jenny would never get her happy ending, as Sumit seemed to be allergic to commitment. However, the couple proved viewers wrong by working through their differences and past deceptions. They just keep trying. Ariella Weinberg and Biniam Shebra are another franchise couple who aired many ups and downs to franchise fans on the other way. Though viewers thought the American woman would leave the Ethiopian dancer at one point, Ariella and Biniam tied the knot after season 3. The parents of baby Aviel moved from Africa to the United States, where they married and are now living together. Though season 3 viewers accused Ariella of harboring feelings for her first husband and best friend Leandro Fosk, she showed fans that when it comes to romantic love, her heart belongs to Biniam. The couple is believed to be returning to the franchise sometime soon, for another season of content. Related, 90 Day Fiancé, the most successful before the 90 Days relationships Texan Tim Clarkson and Colombian Melissa Zeta appeared destined for a messy and permanent breakup. Tim cheated on 90 DF star Melissa and moved to Colombia to try and patch things up. Then, she revealed that she had also been unfaithful. However, to the shock of viewers, Melissa accepted Tim's proposal. Despite the mutual infidelity, Tim and Melissa agreed to patch things up and have since moved forward as a couple. Tim and Melissa are currently living together in his native Texas and have expanded their family to include a puppy named Emilio. Few the other way viewers thought that Tim and Melissa would successfully reunite after his cheating scandal, though they now appear happier than ever. Stephen Johnston and Alina were a season 3 new couple who many viewers thought wouldn't survive until the reunion. Stephen infuriated viewers by expecting Alina to abide by all of the rules of the Mormon church so that she could convert to his faith even though he admitted to sleeping with multiple women, even while dating Alina. Stephen was revealed to be cheating on Alina with women online during the tell-all, though Alina remained convinced that she could change him. Stephen recently opened up about how being Alina's husband changed him for the better. The couple remains happy married despite Stephen's past cheating. Like Stephen and Alina, fellow season 3 newcomers Ellie Rose and Victor McLean appeared to be in a bad place during the season 3 reunion. The couple, who had a short segment on 90 Day Fiancé, the other way, 
spent the season coming to terms with their differences and trying to rebuild after a devastating hurricane in Providencia. Ellie and Victor have taken their relationship into the real world, away from the cameras. Ellie and Victor are living together in the United States and recently enjoyed a vacation in Hawaii together.